Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Now the river season's coming to a close in a couple of weeks. It's really cold today, it's only getting to about five or six degrees, but I've decided to do a bit of roving on the little river that I fished recently for pike. Um, so I went out yesterday with essentially stalking gear, just a, an ultralight rod and free lining worms. So I was putting a couple of shots on the line, dropping it into the slacks, rolling it down some of the swims that looked nice. I covered maybe about half a mile of water um, and I did have a bit of action so I include that in today's footage and today the idea was to come out, hit the areas where I had some action yesterday um, but just fishing a ledger in style today. So with fixed leads, well free running leads, um, free running maggot feeders and just sit static in some of the areas where I had some action yesterday hopefully get some more fish so without further ado let's crack on with the session I'll show you yesterday's footage at the beginning of the video and then we'll get on with today's session hopefully get a few more fish navigating through these woods trying to find the river plus I did not bring the correct footwear so wearing these flat bottom shoes being essentially what's a bog There's a fish. Oh, we lost it. Oh, I think it's the second or third time now where I've had bites. I've given them a second and struck a nothing. So I don't know if I'm just coming across smaller fish. I'm going to assume they're probably all small perch I'm finding because whenever I've had these small takes, they've always been down the margins and always right in the slack area. There we go. Again, we've got, we got a fish on. Oh, it's a nice perch. It's a good sized pair, just a little stream. Look, can you see the tree? I've cut my, my line's cut in the tree, my rod's cut in the tree, I've my line cut around the roots down there. Problem is, with this river, all the swims are just horrendous for fishing. All of them are like this, just full of snags. What I'm going to do is quickly unhook him and I'm going to go back down there because I think there might be some more fish down there. Real, real tank of a perch for a little stream. That's look how fat that perch is. Super fat, look at that belly. He's not that long, he's just massively fat and there's a bunch of worms right on the side of his mouth. <sighs> Beautiful fish. What we're gonna do is sit him down in the margin to the left of where I've caught this one. Let's see if there's anything else. This is the one time where I've left the main camera to one side as well and I've not turned it on. I've turned it on for every single swim I've come to. Apart from this one. <laughs> Never mind. I don't want to faff around with it now. <gasps> don't know but I might have another take then I'm not sure. Yeah it is. <sighs> Maybe it wasn't. Definitely felt like I had a bit of a take then. Oh, quite of a bunch. Felt like I had another take, I'm not sure though. Interesting one. Yeah, it was. There we go. There we go. Whoa, whoa, a chub, a chub, a chub, a chub, a chub, a chub. Oh, and it is dripping drag then. My god. 
They are such strong fish on the light tackle. That is a good sized chub too. I thought it was going to be a small perch. Oh, it's a beautiful chub. Let's get in the net, share your space with that perch. There you go, yes. Yes. Oh, I've hit so many swims with nothing. Just a couple of small bites. Now I've got a banging chub, a cracking perch in the net at exactly the same time. Both caught within a few minutes. Probably ruin this swim now though with that chub thrashing around in it. Well there's a little something that myself and Dom like to call curse of the camera. Where when you've got the camera out you generally don't catch anything. And it's a bit like the theme of today. I've hit five or six swims with the main camera on, absolutely nothing. Put the big camera away and some proper chunky fish. This is that perch I caught from that swim. You don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is super fat, really, really fat fish. It's probably only a 36, 37? Yeah, I'll give it 37 centimetre, something like that, 38. Uh, but it's probably a two pounder, really, really fat. I'll turn it over. Don't know if you can tell, but that is a huge belly. Probably just about scraping two pound. Beautiful fish, and now quickly, I'll show you the chub that I caught. Less than five minutes after, it's a beautiful chub. It's just a little bit of a wider part of this river. It's a, it's a tiny stream, really, honestly. It runs probably about two foot deep average, um, maybe a bit less in some areas, and some areas are only probably about six foot wide. You'd probably jump across them. Got to a wider area, and same swim. Two cracking fish, beautiful specimens. In great condition, too. Right, let's get them back. We've been fishing for an hour already. See if we can find any more fish, hey. So I hope you enjoyed the better footage from yesterday's session. Time to get on with today's session. Now I'm using the exact same setup as I was yesterday. I'm using an ultralight low rod. Um, I'm using this because it has a white tip. So obviously I can use it a bit like a quiver tip rod, like I would do with my feeder fishing. The problem with this river is there's lots of trees and uh, lots of branches and stuff that you need to be able to get through to get to the fish sometimes. And I think with a longer rod, it's gonna be a lot more difficult to try and noodle your, your way through the branches with a rod. So it just makes sense just having a small rod. So like I say, it's a small spinning rod. I think it's about seven foot. Um, I've got a um, small size 2000 reel on there, loaded with six pound mono. It's the one I use for my trout fishing. And then very simple rig, free running lead. And I'm also fishing black cap maggot feeders too. And then hook length of about a foot long. And then I'm fishing a bunch of maggots on a size 12 hook, barbless, because it's very snaggy. So let's crack on, fingers crossed we'll find some more fish this session. I'm going to hit maybe about six or seven swims, so we've got a lot of walking to do. Let's crack on, hopefully get a few more fish on the bank. Fish on, fish on. Yes. Didn't even sit a big camera up here because I didn't think it was going to be a spot where I'd produce, but I think it's a chub. It is. It's a beautiful chub. It's not huge, but it looks in great condition. Nice to take me through snags. Oh, got him. We got him out. Come on. Yes, there we go. I'm sorry about that camera angle, I bet it was really poor, wasn't it? Beautiful chub from this little river. As soon as you find the wider sections, that's where you find the fish, and the man, he choked it. I've always got to scourge you while I'm general course fishing. Always got to have the correct unhooking equipment. There we go, beautiful chub. We'll let him rest in the margin, and we'll take a good look at him. Well, I hadn't even set the main camera up in this swim because it looks like there's nothing there pretty featureless just on a bend there's a slack area but that was it bit of a slack water and look at that beautiful chub it's 
probably about two and a bit pound, maybe two and a quarter. But a really nice, pristine fish and from this little stream, really good quality. And I think it's one of those rivers where it's the wider areas you're looking for, not necessarily the snags. So I've tried a few swims now with overhanging trees and tried to fish underneath and behind them and not found anything. And I found a slightly wider area, cast it down the margin, getting a few little taps off minnow. I could see some minnow in the margin, so I knew there had to be something else down there. This chub was probably hanging around the minnow trying to eat them, to be fair. So we'll quickly get him back now. Pristine silver winter chub. We'll see if we can get any more. Oh, I call that chub on a bunch of maggots, so I'm going to do the same again. Size 12 hook, just going to put three or four maggots on. That's what I'm feeding into the swim. Nice and bright, just mix the colours up because it's dark water. There we go. Just plunk it right down this margin, exactly where I put it before. It's about there, I think. Yeah, straight away I had a couple of little knocks for a minute. There we go, there we go. Fish on, fish on. Fish on. Must be another chub. Yeah, by the way, it's fighting, it must be. Just going out into the main flow. Bigger than the last one. Definitely bigger than the last one. Whoa, yeah, that's a nice fish. That is really ro roaring around in the swim. Just come up to the main flat, just me a right favour. Tiring himself out. Yes, 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 yes. Whoa, I knew we were bigger than that last one. He is, he's a beauty. Easily a pound heavier, and I shot him a hook length off because the last one choked it, and it helped look right, right in the corner. Perfect. Beautiful fish. Let's let him have a little rest down in the margin. I would do the last one. I'll take a better look at him. Awesome. Well, certainly getting bigger. The last one was probably just over two pound or around about two pound. This one's probably about a pound heavier than that. Probably around about three pound. Really nice fishing. It's great just how pristine they are. There's like not a mark on them. Fin perfect, all scales intact. Nicely presenting his dorsal for the camera. And that really nice silver winter colour. I quite like that. Won't be long before when it gets to through springtime and summertime and they'll start bronzing up again. It's really cool. Alright, let's get him back. Maybe I might be able to wiggle one more out this swim. And then we'll have to move on, I think. Awesome, let's get him back. I've just fished probably the best spot I've found so far, even though I caught a few fish from another spot. And uh, absolutely nothing, nothing. I've had some minnows that have stripped my hook bare. I've had several casts over in the area, just had my hook being ripped apart by minnows and no chub whatsoever. And I've been here probably about half an hour, 45 minutes, so wasting a bit of time now. So I've probably got about an hour and a half left, two hours left. So I'm gonna hit the swim that I caught a chub and a perch from during yesterday's session when I was out stalking the worms and fingers crossed we can maybe get a fish from that swim too so we'll head there now and hopefully we'll get another fish from that swim. Whoa, let's keep the worms over because we're getting a bite. Fish on, fish on. Good fish, good fish. 
that rod was positioned just in front of me too. It's a good chub. Real nice fish. Kicked over my tub of worms as well, so hopefully I've not lost them all. Honestly, I was just scoping out another spot, looking up and down the swim. There we go. And uh, glanced over to this rod. We're bending double, banging round. And a real solid chub for this little stream. It's resting out on my leg, so I can knock him quickly. I think he might have spat the hook already. He did. Oh, no, he didn't. There it is, look. Right in the corner. Size 14. Did the job. Little light bomb. Short hook length. Let's give him a rest and we'll take a better look at him. That is awesome. What a chunky, healthy fish that is for such a small stream. Beautiful river chub, pristine condition. Still got some winter weight on there. Nice fat belly on him. Probably about three and a half pounds, something like that. A little bit bigger than the chub I had a couple of days ago. Really nice, beautiful quality, just like the one I had yesterday. And lots of small little black speckles. I think that's down to the diet of the type of crustaceans. Cut right down the margin, literally not even a rod length out almost. So thank you guys for watching. It is a chilly day today. Didn't get above about six degrees. I fished for about three hours today and about four hours yesterday. And I managed a few fish out, a few really nice fish. I mean, those stamper chub are really good for this little river. You may not be able to tell because it's kind of in a bit of a flood at the minute almost because of all the bad weather we've had. But it averages probably about eight inches to a foot deep the river with only a few holes it maybe get down to two or three foot so a lot of the fish are actually really small there isn't very many big fish in here so to catch the stamp i did is absolutely fantastic i'm over the moon probably the perch i think topped it off yesterday it's a very fat little bugger wasn't it so thank you guys for watching if you want to don't forget to subscribe heading towards 100,000 subscribers if you want to check out my instagram i'll leave it in the link in the description below as well and i'll catch you guys later